Good morning, Dr. Jaffe. One of our customers writes in and asks, how does EPA DHA thin the blood? And what, do, what sets PERC EPA DHA Guard apart from other fish oil products? Thank you for those questions. There's a widespread misunderstanding that because EPA DHA decreased the stickiness, the aggregability, the clumpiness of platelets, that maybe that would thin the blood, you know, like warfarin or Zoralto real prescription blood thinners. Interestingly, when you get into the details, and I was a coagulationist, a blood clotting expert before I became an immunologist and a methodologist. Uh, when you get into the details, it turns out that very often platelets are too sticky because of a variety of lifestyle factors. And now the EPA DHA, which helps correct the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, are actually helpful molecules. And we emphasize several things that differentiates PERC from others. First of all, <clears throat> the fish oil that PERC uses is then distilled under nitrogen. Distilled means that the toxic minerals and other toxins from the oceans are uh, reduced, dramatically reduced, and the EPA DHA is enhanced. And because it's not just distilled, but distilled under nitrogen, then the oxidative air oxygen damage that afflicts most fish oils, leaving them with a very sharp, actually rancid, damaged uh, result, is very different with regard to the PERC EPA DHA guard. And if you choose to bite into the mycelized soft gel, that is tiny little droplets that are easily taken up to enhance bioavailability by about threefold, all within the technologies that PERC has pioneered, in some cases has patents and what's called intellectual property around, uh, to indicate that we are the originators of some really helpful advances uh, that in many cases still confuse people. So if you have a disposition towards say coronary disease and you wanna keep your blood flowing smoothly, you don't want it to be too sticky or clumpy. Then you want PERC EPA DHA card. And how much? Well, I take 10 grams a day. That's higher than most recommendations, but that seems to keep my predictive biomarkers uh, in their better ranges, their best outcome values, if you will. Uh, I would say that many colleagues recommend three to six grams a day. Barry Sears, a colleague who is uh, very knowledgeable and devoted to the uh, essential fat questions, he now recommends 15 grams a day because of how much omega-6, because of how many anti-nutrients. And I uh, keep saying uh, EPA, DHA, because those are the active beneficial omega-3. Very often fish oils contain some EPA, DHA, but a lot of other omegas that are not biologically active and in the very people who need them, not converted. So there is some complex chemistry from precursors to active molecules. PERC uses and protects, enhances the uptake and delivers <clears throat> the active molecules in safer and more beneficial ways. And then we do tend to document and have available information that clarifies some of these issues, like why you want EPA DHA for healthy blood flow. And while you won't bruise or have any um, blood clotting uh, gross abnormalities, which is very different from the blood thinners that are commonly used today. So for sure, omega-3 and reduce the dietary omega-6, by going to a more whole diet, less packaged and processed. And that adds life to years and years to life. So it's an important question. And thanks for asking what differentiates per EPA DHA guard and why <clears throat> today in the 21st century, essentially everyone needs PERC EPA DHA guard supplementation. 
traditional distilled under nitrogen protected and assayed. And then with enhanced uptake because of the nanotechnology, the mycelized technology, the tiny droplets that are easily assimilated into the body and then chaperoned and delivered where they're needed. So thanks for asking why PERC is different.